Jack, can you sum up your feelings at this stage? Um, yeah, I think the first one is I'm devastated for my players because I spoke often enough through the course of the season about the relationship I have with them and how proud I am of them, my group, is what they've delivered this season. So, um, really, really disappointed for them. They're sore. They put a lot into the game. We couldn't have asked for much more in terms of the desire to win the cup. We could have played more incisively at times, but their actual desire to win it was there, and then um, obviously just falling short, which naturally hurts. Why do you think you fell short? Well, I think there's, there's probably a couple of parts. I think the first half, fine margins. I've spoken about a lot in the build-up, so we have the clearest opportunity um, that we don't take, and then obviously we fall behind. In the second half, I think we half time we had to move the ball a little bit quicker and be a little bit more brave with it than normally we are. And then we have a spell, I think, when Jamie Murphy's introduced it. We're in the ascendancy, and it looks like that will come for us. When you don't capitalise on that, um, and St Johnson defended the box terrifically well in that period, of course, the game becomes stretched. Um, and you leave yourself vulnerable in the counter, and that happened, but we had to do that to try and get back in the game. So it wasn't to be for us today, as I said. The only last message at halftime was to make sure that if the opportunity slips by, it's one where the players will come in there and be dead on their feet. And, you know, fairness, I've got a squad that, that, are, that are empty in that respect now. Was that always the worry that you give St Johnston the lead and it, they can do this, they, they do it very well in terms of seeing the game out and it causes frustration? Um, no, I mean, I think you always have to prepare for every eventuality going into a game, because even if you're playing well, which I think we were in the first half in terms of being probably a little bit more dominant side, um, those, those moments can change the, the dynamic of a game, game very quickly. So there was a lot about that trust in what we did. Um, we just came up against a team that did defend terrifically well today. You know, We could point to us not being as incisive in the final third as we normally are in creative, and I think that was the case. But equally... I'm sure Callum will point to the fact that they defended their box brilliantly every time they were asked to do so. And how would you assess the season overall? I think it's been outstanding for the club. I think that it shouldn't be forgotten with that group of players have delivered. A group of players that have, um, some of them that have came from lower end Premiership clubs, some from outside the Premiership. An 18-year-old that for large parts of that game was brilliant. So a group of players that I think for me have, have, um, have produced their maximum this, this season. Um, brought this club into a league position that has been in a long time and went to two semi-finals and a cup final. So the disappointment and soreness in not winning them is, is, a, is acute. But the challenge is to keep coming back. But I, I can't be more proud of that group of players. So what they've given me as a manager and as a man, I'm proud to put my name on them, what they've delivered this season. What about the guys in the dressing room at the moment? Well, I think that I know people will say, oh, I know how it feels. Unless you're out on the pitch, you don't know. It's, it's sore because you're the one that puts in an, an immense amount of that physically and psychologically. So they're, they're sore. There's no magic word to take away that pain at the moment other than me expressing my gratitude to what they've given me this season and, and how proud I am of them for that. And they've got to use it as a driver. You know, they, I want us to come back here as Hibs players. If their individual player pathway takes them to other clubs, I want to watch a final they're involved in as individual players and see them winning and making sure that... Um, that hot drives them on to be on the successful side of the result. Jack, you're confident you can't do that next season. Obviously, you said it's been an outstanding campaign, but are you confident that next season you can go to full work? Well, that's my job to do so. I mean, it's the ambition that I've set, and I've been quite open about it. And I think I've got the guts to say it. I don't think every manager would sit and say that. They've taken over as Hibs manager, um, and we've been close. We've not done it, but we've been close, and, and our league campaign's been brilliant. So. I would never want to be Hibs manager and think that finishing fifth in the table is all right and going out in the last 16 of the quarterfinals. I don't think as a club that that's appropriate. And if I ever fall short of that, then that's when I'll be questioned. But I'm OK with that, because I would rather set those ambitions high. You touched on it there that some players may have a different pathway starting next season. Is, is there a feeling of the change that perhaps this is the last time as a group of players that they'll all be together, there might be some sales in the summer? No, I think that's been something that's been very much hyped by media. I don't think there was any of the players who went today believing it was their last game for the club. I think there's a lot of headlines that Probably in the lead up to this game, I felt were, were um, a little bit naughty, but that's that's what happens. Um, but there was not one single one of the players. Now that's not to say that their pathways might go different ways. Um, we'll see what the next few weeks win. But ultimately, it's my job always to put together the puzzle and, and produce a successful team. We've done it. Progress we've made since I came to the club has been brilliant. Let's just continue to do that, irrespective of who makes up the squad next season. Yeah, of course it is. And I said that to Callum at the end of the game. Callum and I know each other very well. And I, I've always got the utmost respect for every manager in the country because um, difficult job. 
comes with a lot of pressure and a lot of scrutiny and a lot of people telling you they're better at it than you. So I think for Callum to do that in his first season is remarkable and, and um, you know, I offer my congratulations to them as a club. Um, I think we were magnanimous to do that. I think we were respectful in terms of how we behaved, um, even though we're sore. So, yeah, yeah and, like, and that I said that to Callum at the time, you know, congratulate him on a fantastic achievement. Aye, um, you know, it's devastating. Uh, yeah, obviously, if you look at the season as a whole, you know, we, we achieved what we wanted in the league uh, comfortably. Um, but this is the one we wanted, this is the one that I wanted. Um, but, listen, it wasn't for the lack of trying with the boys. They dug deep. Um, you know, but credit where, where credit's due. St Johnston have been fantastic in cup competitions and, um, you know, going into the game, you could have seen we were favourites because we were, you know, a, you know, a good bit in front of them in the league. But anything can happen in cup finals and they've shown it this season. They've been fantastic and, you know, well done to them. They've proved to be tough opponents for him this season, haven't they? Right, listen, they've been tough opponents for everyone. Um, you know, they've, they've, you know, went to Ibrox and, and knocked out Rangers. And you know, if you want to win the cup, you, you need to beat the best. And um, you know, credit to them. Will it take a few days for you to be able to assess the season overall? Um, probably a few weeks. Um, I think we, it's been a long season, a hard season. Um, we'll, we'll take, you know, a probably a well-needed break, a well-needed rest, and. You know, we'll be uh, right back in, and you know, we'll look forward to the European football that we have. <sighs> Listen, it's, it's hard to look at the positives right now, but um, it's just for for me, it's such a close knit group in there, and the, you know, the manager and all the, the staff have put so much effort into the. And uh, you know what we've achieved this season, what we've done this season, and we've put ourselves into these positions. Time and well, obviously not finals, but semi-finals and stuff like that. And you know, I just feel we've we've, we've let a lot of people down today. Um, obviously not for the lack of trying, but um, as I said, this is one we want. This is the one the fans want. You know, I know that as a Hibs fan that this, we want to win the Scottish Cup, and you know we we didn't do it today. And you know, it is it is gotten. You know, every Hibs fan will tell you that it's devastating, but. You know, we c obviously we can't feel too f sorry for ourselves because St Johnston were better than us. It's as simple as that. You know, they they, they picked a weakness in it and you know they scored for it. But listen, we've we've got to dust ourselves down in the next month or so and, and come back for pre-season hungry for more. Yeah, I was just just saying to the guys outside that there's a lot of boys in that in, in this changing room that are that will go on and, and be in these situations. You know, again. And we, we need to make sure that, you know, we're learning from these mistakes. You know, I don't think we have to learn from losing. But I think, you know, when you, you're, you know, dealt the cards that you are, you need to make, take, make well, make the most of it. And th there'll be boys in there that have, that'll, that'll struggle to get over this. But, you know, you've got to look at the, um, the you know, the bright side if there is any and try and learn for, uh, learn for you know, the mistakes and learn for the occasion, really. They've been better than us. Just every time you play them, better than the day. On the day, I think when they go one 0 up, they're hard to to score against. Um, and I think you know, if we look at them at home, um, yeah, it's a, it's a it, it's just listen, it's a tough place to go when you, when you go and play them away, and they're a tough team to play against in general. Um, and you know they were better than us, so they deserve to win. I don't think it's probably the right time to be talking about that. You know, I think it would be disrespectful to the manager, the fans, if I started talking about anything like that. This is a, a time where we've we've got to um, reflect on, on what's just happened. It'll take a few weeks before you know you think about anything else. I think we've got to dust ourselves down and, and you know look forward to pre-season. Uh, yeah, I would trade anything for, to win the Scottish Cup with Hibs. And, um, I think everyone knows that. But listen, it wasn't to be the day. You never know, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, it happens in the future. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.